wasn't gonna keep it, get an abortion. He didn't, that's the first thing he said was get an abortion. My family's biggest concerns were, will I finish high school, will you go to college? You know, will your dreams and I guess goals my parents had for me still come true? 39 years old. Um, I was considered myself too old to have any children, didn't want any more children. Everyone I talked to said keep the baby, but my situation that I was in, I didn't want to. I didn't, my husband's in prison, um, I was not working. I was four months and didn't know it. And um, so I, I, when I did suspect something was going on, it was just, Wow, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know where, what I was going to do, you know. I came up pregnant with Mara and I came to you and I was just at wit's end. I did not want to have another kid so close. I think being helped by someone who didn't judge me, that was the biggest thing. It was like, hey, Whatever you're gonna do, we can work this thing out. Definitely provided support for my for my parents as well as me. I think they were just as lost as I was when we found out. It was just nice to know that there were places that could provide assistance and provide support throughout the pregnancy and afterward. Because once I decided to get the baby, I ended up getting fired from my job. I had, couldn't go, I didn't have a car, didn't couldn't go to school anymore because my dad had given me that car and took it away. And um so I was, I had to get on welfare, which I'd never been. And so just to know that there was a, an outlet here to help me get the little things that I couldn't get, you know, because I didn't have any money. I didn't have a job. And then when I took the baby home, you made sure I had a baby bed and a bassinet and everything that I needed to care for the baby, which took a huge weight off because I didn't have the money myself. It wasn't all coddling, it was some, hey, well, we're gonna have to make this work, but you can't do this over and over, you know, or it was just like, like having a friend that's gonna tell you what you need to know, not what you need to hear, not just trying to coddle you, you know. All the people that worked here during that time was always there if I needed something, just to talk to somebody, I mean, it's just, it's amazing how, how much that you guys did for me. He's, I had him on December 31st, 1991, and he came out healthy. And when I saw him, I just fell in love with him. He was born on a Friday, January the 8th of this year. The delivery actually went well. He was born December 22nd, 1996. He was seven pounds, seven ounces. I just want him to be a good person. I know that he will survive, because there's many a times, like with the birth, with me deciding to keep him, that he's not supposed to be here. But I know that he is strength. And I know that he's going to be some somebody, somebody, a leader one day. He'll be 12, September the 8th. He was born 9898. The best thing I learned out of this situation was he may not change your situation, but he will change you in the situation.